Hello fellow biologists, today we are going to be looking at uh, lesson objective E and F taken from cloning and biotechnology from OCRA specification for A-level biology. So we're going to look at first of all the use of microorganisms in biotechnological processes. The definition of biotechnology is there at the top in blue, it's large-scale commercial use of living organisms for human consumption. A couple of examples there, healthcare and medicinal purposes, such as grow, uh, harvesting insulin from E. coli, genetically modified E. coli, agriculture, industry and food science, such as baking and brewing. And there's a couple more points on there, but they come up later in the advantages and disadvantages as well. So here's a list of different microorganisms that are used for different functions, different purposes. I'm not going to read through all those, but those in the red boxes are taken directly from the MART scheme and you do need to be aware of those ones. Also just going to draw your attention to this one here, that corn can be also known as microprotein and that does come up quite a few times in the exams. So you need to be aware of, of that as well. So a couple of, of questions here to think about if you want to pause it and have a go. <clears throat> I'm going to just put those ones up there, but these last ones here, there are a bit more than four um, reasons as to why micro microorganisms make them suitable for large scale industrial processes. Guys, they're really important, those ones there in the red boxes. It's really important. Massive advantage. We can grow them on unwanted food products. They can be genetically engineered. Fast reproduction. We can get a lot of product very quickly. Although you don't get marks, sometimes you don't directly get marks for saying it's cheaper. You can get marks for explaining why it's cheaper. So using low temperatures and pressures and being able to separate the products easily. So that's E and all the different microorganisms that you do need to know. So try and cover them up or pause the video, move your computer away, write them down, check it and carry on doing that until you can you can recite them. You may need to have a look in a textbook as well to read up a little bit more about brewing, cheese making and yogurt production. But I've never, ever, ever seen an exam question asking specifically about the processes. It's more asking about the microorganisms involved behind those processes and advantages and disadvantages about using them. So advantages and disadvantages of using those particular microorganisms. Here we are, just to highlight a couple of them to you. So advantages, we can make a lot of products quickly and easily through uh, the, the microorganism reproducing very quickly. Um, other specific advantages, microorganisms can be genetically and, uh, modified and also the very few ethical issues with using them. Uh, disadvantages, people don't particularly, some, some people aren't keen on using genetically modified food. Some people don't like eating products that are grown from microorganisms that feed on waste. And also, uh, you have to use aseptic conditions, which can be quite difficult, otherwise you contaminate these samples. So good luck, guys. Remember, don't use the words amount, size, it or they in your exams. Use descriptive terminology. And that's that last one. Okay, good luck.